Come with me to a land far away. Hello, beautiful souls. So I'm going to do a twin flame reading or a soul connection reading. Take it however it resonates with you. It could just be someone you're thinking of, someone you're holding on to. So yeah, um, if you're new here, it's so great to have you here. Please consider subscribing because I love you all and I would love for you to join my YouTube family. Um, also, I have a Facebook page. If you wanna like it, it's in the description box below. Um, so if you are a returning subscriber, just know that I love you guys. I love your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. I love when you look at my Facebook page. I love when you contact me. I just love you guys. And thank you for being my subscriber. I am truly grateful. Okay, so if you know me, you know that I channel through music. And I can literally be doing something or even just wake up with a song in my head. For the last two days, guys, I have had the song Lonely by Justin Bieber in my head. Which means what? Yep, time for a reading. Okay, so I'm going to start off by reading you the lyrics because I cannot play the song for you on YouTube. It's not allowed. And also... Not everybody wants to listen to Justin Bieber, right? Okay, <laughs> so, oh, also guys, don't mind my nails. I have not redone them yet. I've been very busy. My mom's had some health issues, so I have to, um, I've been busy and not had time to do my nails. Um, if you guys could also, you know, pray or send good vibes to my mom, that would be really great. She's like puking and she just, she can't eat anything much. And I'm really worried about her. And if you guys follow me, my mom, I'm a single mom of five, and I also help take care of my mom who has lots of problems, including Parkinson's disease and other issues. Okay, so I greatly appreciate that. I love you guys, and I love you. I love you. Thank you. Um, okay. Also, I'm going to be picking a winner today. So if you haven't subscribed and watched my video on how to win a deck or a reading, because I'm going to give away one deck, and two readings. I'm gonna be picking a winner today. I know it's taken me a while, but um, yeah, so go watch that video, comment, and subscribe, and I definitely will put your name in for the winning. Okay, so here we go. Lonely by Justin Bieber. Everybody knows my name now, but something about it still feels strange. Like looking in a mirror, trying to study yourself and seeing somebody else. And everything is not the same now. It feels like all our lives have changed. Maybe when I'm older, it'll all calm down, but it's killing me now. What if you had it all, but nobody to call? Maybe then you'd know me. Because I've had everything, but no one's listening. And that's just effing lonely. I'm so lonely, lonely. Everybody knows my past now, like my house was always made of glass. And maybe that's the price you pay for the money and the fame at an early age. And everybody saw me sick, and it felt like no one gave an, um, you know, shh, it. They criticized the things I did as an idiot kid. And then it says, what if you had it all, but nobody to call? Maybe then you'd know me. Because I've had everything, but no one's listening. And that's just effing lonely. I'm so lonely, lonely. I'm so lonely. Okay. So that's such a pretty song, you guys. I love it. You can listen to it on YouTube or Napster or whatever you listen to music on. But I love it. And it's so pretty. Okay. So, let's see what's going on. We are going to go into my Romance Angels deck. Please charge this deck for the Twin Flames or the people who are in a separation with a soul person. Please charge this deck for the Twin Flames. 
for keeping the separation. Guys, if you hear my kids, I'm really sorry. I know that they're loud, but like I said, I am a mom of five. And quiet is just not something we have in this house unless the kids are asleep. <laughs> Sometimes I stay up late just to have a little bit of peace and quiet. Okay. All right, tell us about lonely. Tell us who is lonely, spirit. And let's use my little coin, yes or no. Is it the masculine who is lonely? Are we picking up on the masculine energy? Are we picking up on the masculine energy? Yes. Knew it. Okay. Tell us about the masculine that's lonely right now, spirit. Tell us about the masculine that's lonely. Whoop. Okay. We got one. Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Okay, so our masculine is thinking about reconciliation. And they're always falling on the floor. I hate that. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Okay, so he's thinking about reconciliation. Maybe he's dreaming about reconciliation. Maybe he's seeing your name everywhere, Divine Feminine. Maybe he's just daydreaming. Maybe it's songs, you know, and maybe he's like, God, I just, I'm so lonely. Maybe he has a really good life, okay? Maybe he's got a lot of money. I'm not saying he does. Take it if it resonates. Or maybe he just has something really good in his life, okay? But he's like, I have it all but I'm just still so effing lonely. You know, because the song's like, what if you had it all, but nobody to call? So maybe even if he's in another, another relationship, he feels like even though he has it all, he's still lonely. He's still unhappy. He knows that he needs to let go of his control issues, maybe let go of his ego and his pride. And he knows and he feels so he feels so strongly that he needs to connect back to his feminine. He's like, I need to connect to my feminine. Also, I channel he and she for masculine and feminine. You take it however it resonates with you guys because there's nothing wrong with anything. You can be in the masculine or the feminine energy, okay? If you are, you know, in a same-sex relationship, take it however it resonates with you. You can tell who's in the masculine and the feminine energy when they are, you know? You know what you are. Anyway, that's why I say, whatever resonates with you, keep it. Whatever doesn't, get rid of it because it's a general reading and it's meant to hit more than one person. It's meant to hit many people, you know, to give many messages, all right? So, our masculine wants to reconcile and I feel like he's being haunted by this. And I feel like he's like, I need to just let go go of my control issues. I need to let go of my pride and my ego and I need to be like, look, I'm sorry. And maybe it's hard for him to say, I'm sorry. Maybe he can't say, I'm sorry, because he feels like he can't. Or maybe he feels like it's all up in his head. Let's look into it some more. Or maybe he needs to let go of another or something that's holding him back. Doesn't always have to be control issues. Tell us more spirit about our masculine being lonely and wanting to reconcile with this beautiful femme. I feel like this one and this one are calling to me. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And we have this one in reverse, guys. You deserve love. You are lovable. It came up in reverse. I don't always take it in reverse unless I feel it, but I feel it, so I'm taking it, all right? So here's what's going on. He's thinking about you, fam. He's dreaming about you, fam. He is having your name pop up on his Facebook page or his Instagram or whatever. He sees your name everywhere. He sees somebody that looks like you everywhere. He hears songs and he thinks of you, and he just cannot get you out of his mind. He goes to sleep. He dreams of you. He wakes up, he daydreams of you, he thinks of you, he is haunted by you, my darling, beautiful femme. And maybe you did this, 
Maybe, but probably not. All right. He feels like he needs to let go of something or of an issue in his own mind, be it ego, pride, whatever's holding him back. You know, he's far away from her. Maybe you guys have a child together. Maybe you don't. But if you do, he's not just thinking about you and you're not the only one haunting him. Your child is as well. Okay? Um, he wants passion in his life. Like, touch my soul type of passion. I feel like if he's in another connection, there's not a lot of passion. Okay? There's not a lot of attraction. There's not a lot of sex. Sorry. There's not a lot of sex. Let's just say it. All right. So he's like, I want my heart and soul to sing with joy. I want a woman who can touch me and feel my soul. All right. And he, he, he feels like he doesn't deserve it. Or if he's in another connection, he's not feeling like he's getting the love that he deserves. Because this one in the upright says, you deserve love. You are lovable. So maybe he doesn't feel like he's lovable. Or maybe he doesn't feel like the person he's with makes him feel lovable. Or happy. Or anything like that. Alright, I feel like there's at least one more in here. Is there any more messages here? Yep, okay. Go sweet. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Maybe he knows that you're his twin or his soulmate, okay? He knows he's meant to be with you, but one of the reasons he's not is because you're not exactly his type. Like, I don't mean look-wise. I mean, maybe you're the different religion. Or maybe you're outgoing and he's more stiff. You know what I mean? Maybe not everybody agrees with him and you becoming a thing. Because look, you've got these girls here gossiping to this masculine, like, oh, so-and-so, blah, 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 you know. And he's like, I'm in love with her. And that's this up here, like, you're in love with her. It's in my head. I'm in love with her. But my sisters or my friends or my mom or whoever doesn't like this person, Maybe his family doesn't like you or doesn't want to see you with them. Or maybe he's got other things holding him back besides a wife. Maybe he's got kids. Because look, that could also signify a child to me. But in his dreams, in his dreams, femme, that's where he wants to be. Like he is one of those guys who gets home from work and goes and takes a nap just because he wants to see you. Maybe he does. All right. We're going to go into my deck. Learning Tarot by Witchy Sabrina. And thank you guys for my comp for all your compliments on my deck. And um, I really appreciate that. If you guys like my deck and you want to purchase it, you can definitely hit up my Etsy store, which is linked down below. Okay. Please charge this deck to the beautiful souls that are watching this. The twin flames, the soulmates, whatever they are. Please charge this deck to them. Help us to answer all these beautiful questions. Okay. Okay, spirit, tell us. Please clarify for us. Reconciliation. Please clarify for us. Reconciliation. Eight of Pentacles. Accomplishments and reward. New career, self-employment, and hardworking. Okay. So I feel like your masculine is working hard at planning a beautiful reconciliation with you, Vem. He is. He's working hard at planning it. Or, or he's throwing himself into work to try and not think about it. Tell us more about reconciliation, please, Spirit. Lack of energy, impulsive and bitter. Yeah. 
For someone, their masculine is planning a beautiful reconciliation because he's sick of lacking energy. For another person, your masculine is throwing himself into work, trying to work so hard that he doesn't even have to think about you, but it doesn't work. Okay, I'm telling you now, it does not work. Please can, please clarify for us, let go of control issues. Please clarify for us, let go of control issues, Spirit. Please clarify for us, let go of control issues. All right. Eight of Cups. I am taking my love and I am out of here retreating and purging. Seize the moment, quarrel, and a brave soldier. And look how he's walking away. He took his stuff and he walked away. All right, guys, so I feel like this masculine is in another relationship and he needs to purge this person. He needs to walk away from this person in order to have a reconciliation with you. But instead, he's throwing himself into work and he is just trying to get by. I'm hearing he's like tiptoeing through life, like taking baby steps. But what he needs to do is he needs to walk away. And I am seeing a quarrel between these people and he's going to be a brave soldier. He's going to be like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done fighting with you. I'm done sitting here arguing with you. I'm done trying to make my point. I'm done with you hurting me. I'm done with you doing this, that, or the other thing. I'm done with you never changing. This is not how I want to live the rest of my life. And I feel like he's going to pack his things and he's going to leave. And if this is just a mental thing, like pride and ego, I feel like he's going to be like, you know what? Forget pride and ego, forget this. I am going to give up and I am going towards my femme. I am sick of this. I am done. Screw you, pride and ego. All right, tell us more about passion. Yeah, that's way too many. Tell us more about um, passion. Tell us more about passion. Okay, I guess you want me to take that many. Ten of Cups, happy, family, marriage, homecoming. All right, I feel like this masculine may be married. Just going to put it out there. I feel like he may be married or in a committed relationship with someone else. And in this marriage is violence and abuse, mind games, and controlling. I feel like, yeah, look, surrendering, loss of control, failed to protect. He's going to surrender this marriage. He's going to be like, I'm done with your violence and abuse. I'm done with you controlling me. I'm done. I thought we were supposed to be happy. I thought we were going to be a happy family. I love the kids. I stay for the kids, but I don't love you. I'm sorry. We're just, you don't make me feel loved. I don't love you. I'm going to pack my things and I'm going to go stay with my mom or I'm going to go somewhere else because I'm sick of it. He's sick of not having control. He's sick of feeling unwelcome and he's sick of the bad luck that comes with being with this person because with this karmic person, they have bad luck, it looks like. Okay, so please clarify for us, you are lovable. Clarify for us, you are lovable, spirit. Yeah, the hanged man, feeling trapped, letting go, needing release. So this person makes him feel trapped, but he's going to let go. He knows he needs to let go just to keep his mind clear and happy. And like, he's going insane because of this person. He wants to feel loved. He wants to feel passion. He wants somebody that can touch his soul. Not just sexually, but like a person who knows what he's thinking, what he's feeling. He wants his twin. He wants the other half of his soul. Let's just face it. All right, tell us more about keep an open mind. Yeah, see? 
He's lying awake, worry, mental torture. He tortures himself mentally staying in this relationship. But he's over, gonna overcome this addiction to this person or this codependency. He's gonna take his power back. He's going to detach from this person. Maybe he was afraid of money issues. Maybe he's like, if I leave this person, I'm gonna have to pay child support. If I leave this person, I'm gonna lose half my money. If I leave this person, this, that, other thing. But you know what? He's like, screw it, I don't care. I'm done holding on to money. I'm done. I'm going to manifest more money. Money isn't everything. Because what if I had it all? Maybe he has a lot of money. What if I had it all, but nobody to call? You know, he feels like he has it all, but he's still not happy. Is it because he's greedy? Or is it because he knows that love would have made him feel better than money? And now he's trying to manifest this beautiful new beginning. But I do feel like he's working hard. Maybe before he was throwing himself into work. Like if I just work, I won't think about her. If I just think about work, I won't think about her but it doesn't work. Now he's trying to work and plan this beautiful reconciliation with you, Femme. But he knows he has to detach from this terrible marriage first or relationship, okay? Anything else you want the Femme to know? Anything else you want the Femme to know? Yeah, but he's still going to be procrastinating, so it's not going to happen right away. But just know he is making plans. And eventually, it'll happen. Maybe he feels like he needs to have a lot of money in order to come to you, Femme. Okay? Maybe. Okay. So let's go ahead and look into this other relationship. We're going to go into my other deck, which is What's Really Going Down in Karmic Town by me, Witchy Sabrina. Please charge this deck for the beautiful twin flames. Please charge this deck for the beautiful twin flames or souls in a separation with their love. Okay, so what's going on in this relationship, this unhappy marriage? Okay, tell us what's going on in this other relationship, Spirit. Please tell us what's going on in this other relationship. what's going on in this other relationship. And I feel like those two wanted to come out as well. I am trying to keep it together, but I'm falling apart. See, throwing himself into work. Trying to keep it together, but he can't. He's trying to throw himself into work. He's trying to throw himself into this, I'm the perfect husband and the perfect dad role, but he can't. And I'm really sorry if you hear my son yelling. They're at the table eating lunch. So yeah, they're gonna, they're just loud, I'm sorry. Okay, so here's another one. I feel like you are just too good for me. How would someone as amazing as you even want me? He feels like even if he does come, even if he gives this up, is he giving it up for nothing? Because how would somebody as amazing as you, feminine? Maybe he watches your Facebook page. Maybe you have a YouTube and he watches your YouTube. Maybe, you know, he hears about you through the grapevine, whatever. 
how would someone as amazing as you ever want him again or want him now? Okay. I feel like I am in the middle of the ocean trying to keep my head above water. He feels like all he can do right now, fam, is just try to keep his head above water. That's all he can do is keep his head above the water. He has no energy to do anything else. I want to contact you. However, I am afraid to hurt the karmic or the children. So he wants to contact you, but he's afraid to hurt this person. Maybe this person, you know, yes, they fight, but maybe he does have love for this person. You know, maybe it's like, I love you, but I'm not in love with you. You don't make me feel lovable. But maybe, you know, maybe there are feelings there, like they don't want to hurt this person in any way. Or maybe they have children and they don't want to hurt their children by leaving their mother or father. I often wonder if you would treat me better than the karmic does. But they wonder, would you treat me better? Would you make me feel lovable? Or would you treat me the same? Is all love the same? That's kind of how they feel like maybe all love is the same. Maybe this is what love is supposed to be. You know? And then last one. I am sorry, but you are wrong. I am not your twin flame or soulmate. My person is not a karmic. So again, they feel, I feel like when this relationship started, they felt like you felt like they were the one, but they didn't feel like you were the one at one point. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not the person you want me to be. I'm not, the, I'm not your soulmate. I'm not your twin flame. That's how they felt. But now they're seeing that they were wrong. And they're wondering, would, are they? Are they my twin? Are they my soulmate? Would they treat me better than this person? It's kind of how, you know, they feel. Would you treat them better than the person they're with? Are you my twin? Maybe they told you we're not meant to be together. But now they're wondering, are we? Are we actually? All right, let's go into this third party love triangle by Fire Witch Tarot. Please charge this deck to the beautiful souls of the twin flames or the soulmates. Please charge this deck to the twin flames or soulmates. I don't use this deck very often, guys, and it is still pretty new. So it's hard to shuffle sometimes. All right. I want to know more about this third party. Tell us more about this third party karmic situation, spirit. Tell us more. Tell us more. Tell us more. All right, masculine says, femme, don't compare yourself to them. There's a reason I choose you over them. Okay, so maybe he hasn't chose you yet, but he will. There's a reason I'm going to choose you over them. Don't compare yourself to the karmic. Don't wonder what they do different because you are perfect in your masculine's eyes. And the femme wants you to know masculine. I'm not going to lie. I wish for you to break up. Or I wished for you to break up if you did. So she wants you to know, masculine, that she does wish that you two would break up. She does sit there and say, please, God, let them break up. Masculine says to the femme, the person that I'm with is very clingy. So it makes it hard for me to spend time with you or to call you or to contact you. So this person is controlling. We already got that. Controlling and clingy. Okay, and is there anything else, Spirit? Anything else? Any other messages, please? 
Guys, I'm thinking about doing one of those um, things where the masculine writes a letter to the femme or the femme writes a letter to the masculine. Um, I'm waiting on some new cards to come in, but I really want to try it. I've never done it, but I want to try it. I think it would be awesome. And Okay, so the masculine says to the femme, I have a deep bond with you, and I would like to see where it leads us. Just don't get crazy with me or I'm dipping. Okay, so when they do contact you, fam, don't get crazy. Don't yell at him. Make him feel loved. You know, don't be too mean. Because if, if it's your masculine and you forgive them, you know, don't, don't do anything to hurt them, you know. Be like, look, you hurt me. This, that, and the other thing. But don't yell at them. Don't treat them like this karmic does, okay? Okay. So let's see. What, uh, what love arrows is the masculine sending to the feminine right now? We're going to go into Arrows of Love Oracle by Mystic Moon Oracles. Please charge this deck to the masculine and the feminine. Please charge this deck to the masculine and the feminine. Please charge this deck to the masculine and the feminine. If you guys are enjoying this reading, please like and subscribe because I would greatly appreciate it. Please tell us. What arrows are, is the masculine sending to the feminine? Transformation love. Delight and desire. Okay. So the masculine wants you to know, Femme, that he is transforming. He is ascending and he is going to eventually realize that he needs to walk away from this relationship. He is going to realize that he is a butterfly and it's time for him to jump out of this cocoon, okay? He also wants you to know that he delights and desires you like a fat kid desires cake, okay? He like thinks about you like a child thinks about candy or cake. You are his secret desire, his secret l delight. He wants to eat you up, Femme. And he's realizing this. He's realizing you are his desire. You are the one with the other side of his soul. You are the one who lights his fire. You are the one who holds his heart. Okay. Love line rewired. So maybe he's thinking about giving you a call or he wants you to know that he is rewiring himself from the inside out. The light bulb has went on and he is knowing. Yeah, look, farewell. He's going to leave this karmic. He's going to pack his stuff. He's going to leave. We've already got a pile of cards saying, Farewell, karmic. Goodbye. I'm done. Goodbye. Take your clingy, controlling crap and shove it up your... Uh. Yep. Okay. What love arrows is the feminine sending to you, masculine? What love arrows is your femme sending to you? Okay, that's quite a few, but I feel like I should take them. Satin sheets seduction. So your femme may be uh, fantasizing about you in a sexual way. Maybe she is sending you sexual thoughts. Um, maybe she's thinking about you while she's playing with herself in the sheets. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Maybe she's telepathically telling you masculine, you're a blessing in disguise. She's secretly anticipating you coming in and 
Linda playing with her cherry. I'm sorry, but these are going to sexuality things. Your femme is definitely fantasizing about you in a sexual way. She wants you in between the sheets. There's also a lot of red here. So, um, yeah. She feels like you are going to be really good in bed, okay? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, okay? Higher purpose. She feels like she has a higher purpose, but she does feel like you are a part of that higher purpose. And look at all the red. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Erotic activation. So yeah, she's definitely sexually fantasizing about you, maybe having sexual dreams about you, masculine, because you have a lot of sexual cards here. Love and lace, innocence. Mm-hmm. Your femme wants you, masculine, wants you bad, and she wishes that you would just send her a tweet, tweet message. Maybe she wants to have some, uh, you know, sexting. Send you some nudes. Because this is in reverse, cloud nine. She wants to be on cloud nine with you. But right now, there's no cloud nine. Okay? So your feminine is sending you sexual desire. She's sending you... Um, sexual dreams, maybe. She's just sending you all sorts of sexual energy, okay? So, um, I don't know if you're feeling that, or maybe, maybe you are. Maybe that's why you just can't get her out of your head. But that's what I'm seeing for you, masculine. Okay, so we're going to go into Mystic Moon Oracle deck. Please charge this deck to the beautiful soul of the masculine and feminine. Or the person that is in a soul connection. Please charge this deck to the masculine and feminine. Please charge this deck to the masculine and feminine. Okay. What is the masculine going to do, spirit? What is our masculine going to do? This is in reverse. Fifth dimension, he's gonna stop living in dream world. He's going to stop putting his family or his karmic first. He's going to thaw this ice that he has between you and him. He's going to realize, fam, that you are his muse. Forgiveness in reverse. He's going to stop trying to get forgiveness from the karmic and start giving, getting forgiveness from you. He's not going to compromise anymore with this karmic partner. He's not going to compromise. He's not going to forgive. You know, maybe he's forgiven this karmic partner a lot. He's not going to wear a mask anymore. He's getting ready, fam. He's taking action. Make sure you're ready. Are you ready? Be careful what you wish for. Are you really, really ready for this? I mean, you want him. You want him in your downstairs. <laughs> you do. You, you can't stop thinking about him touching your soul. Okay, that's for someone. But are you really ready? I hope you're ready. And let's go into our Twin Flame messages by Mystic Moon. See what kind of messages we have here. 
Please charge this deck to the beautiful souls of the masculine and the feminine. All right, what messages does the masculine want to give to the femme? Please, spirit. <laughs> I can still feel you. So all the sexual energy you're sending to me, Femme, I do feel it. Just know that before I got spooked. Anything else you want to say, masculine? Anything else you want to say? I feel like I need more time to figure things out. To plan. I feel like he's not going to come until he has a plan. No spur of the moment. But he is planning it. So that's good news. He's seeing it. He's planning it. He's feeling it. And you got a couple more here. I know you're right but I need to come to my own conclusions. Yeah, see, he needs to see it on his own. But my heart is telling me to just do it. He might still be a little bit spooked by this connection. All right, Femme, what do you want to say to the masculine? What do you want to say to your masculine? What do you want to say? No other compares to you. Your beauty still moves me. So the way you look masculine still turns her on. No other compares to you. She knows that you're the only one who can touch her soul. She knows that you are handsome and your, your sexiness still affects her. Anything else? But she feels damaged, like she just can't do this deep down. Maybe she feels like she wants to give up. Or maybe she's afraid. Maybe she's been hurt a lot by somebody else. So she feels damaged, like she just can't do it. Let's see. Why does our femme feel damaged? Why does our femme feel damaged, please? Why does our femme feel damaged? Okay. Nowhere to hide. Hard times coming. Slow healing. Yeah, she's been hurt before. She's been hurt before. And she feels like with you, she's going to have to open up and be vulnerable, show you all that she has. I'm hearing that song, All of Me. Um, we'll look into that in a minute. And then we also have choosing your next path, planning, leaving suddenly. Maybe she has abandonment issues. Maybe she feels like you're going to leave her if you know the real her. Like there's nowhere to hide. There's nowhere to hide. You're going to see all of her down to her soul. And maybe that scares her a little bit masculine. And she feels like maybe when you see who she truly is, you won't feel that she's as perfect as you think. You won't feel that you love her as much. And you'll leave suddenly. Okay? Okay, so the song says, What would I do without your smart mouth? Drawing me in and you kicking me out. You've got my head spinning, no kidding, I can't pin you down. What's going on in that beautiful mind? I'm on your magical mystery ride, and I'm so dizzy, don't know what hit me, but I'll be all right. My head's underwater, but I'm breathing fine. You're crazy, and I'm out of my mind, cause all of you, all of me, loves all of you. Loves your curves and all your edges, all your perfect imperfections. Give your all to me, I'll give my all to you. You're my end and my beginning. Even when I lose, I'm winning because I give you all of me and you give me all of you. How many times do I have to tell you? Even when you're crying, you're beautiful too. The world is beating you down. I'm around through every mood. 
You're my downfall. You're my muse. My worst distraction. My rhythm and blues. I can't stop singing. It's ringing in my head for you. My head's underwater, but I'm breathing fine. You're crazy, and I'm out of my mind. Because all of me loves all of you. Loves your curves and all your edges, all your perfect imperfections. Give your all to me. I'll give my all to you. You're my end and my beginning. Even when I lose, I'm winning. Because I give you all of me, and you give me all of you. Okay, and then it goes back to the chorus again. So yeah, she feels like masculine. When you see all of her, every detail, will you love her the way that she loves you? Because she loves you, all your curves and all your edges, all your imperfection. She loves everything about you. And she wants to help you through every little thing. Maybe you have mental problems. She wants to help you with that. Maybe you're scared of going through a divorce. She wants to help you with that. She wants to give you her hand and, you know, show you every little detail about her and about her life and all the things that nobody else sees. She wants to show you and she feels like, if you're crazy and I'm out of my mind, are we perfect for each other? You know? Or will you leave me? Will you leave me again? Will you abandon me again? Will you ghost me again? That's what she wonders. That's what she's afraid of. And that's why she's saying, um, I feel damaged and I just, like, I just can't do this because she doesn't want to open up to someone after she's been hurt. Not even to you. But I feel that masculine, she would. All right, she really would. She would open up to you, but it would take a little bit, you know. It's going to take a lot of work. You're going to have to show her that you're not going to leave her again. You're going to have to show her that you're not going to hurt her. And you're going to have to show her that even when she's the most vulnerable and having the worst day, you still love her. Because that's how she loves you. Even if you were having the worst day, she would wrap your ar her arms around you and be like, it's okay. Cry. Let me hold you while you cry. Let me make you your favorite food. Let me bake you these cookies. Let me do these things to you sexually to make you feel better. Okay? Because we have a lot of sex here, right? <laughs> All right. All right, guys. We're going to go into... The Goddess Deck by Doreen Virtue. Please charge this deck to the beautiful souls of the Twin Flames. Please charge this deck to the Twin Flames. Give us a card for the masculine, please, Spirit. Give us a card for our masculine, please, Spirit. Thank you. Astara. Fertility. It is the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. Masculine, it's the perfect time for you to leave what does no longer serve you. It's time for you to purge. If you're worried about your children, they'll be okay. Okay. Spirit, please give goddesses, give us a card for the femme. Give us a card for the feminine. Give us a card for the beautiful feminine. Wow. Okay, peace. There is no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully, femme. So don't worry. Don't worry is this happening because it is. And you don't need to worry your pretty little head about it. Just work on you having peace and the universe will bring this in. In divine timing. All right, we're going to go into my spirit guide. And I know I'm not shuffling like I usually do, but I'm running out of time on my phone. All right, so, and I pre-shuffle these anyways. I just shuffle for camera purposes. All right, spirit, please give us a message for the divine masculine. Divine masculine needs a message, okay. A 
and masculine you got, you are not alone. We are here for you. We never left. Through all the sadness and the loneliness, however, you cannot sense us near you or feel how much we love or feel how much love we are sending you. We are your family, friends, and guides. You never walk alone. We walk right beside you. See, masculine, your femme has never left you. Her higher self is still with you. You're not alone. She's there hugging you even if you don't notice. You can feel her. She sends you love every day. See how she's sending love, giving him love, holding him? She sends you love. Okay, give me one for the femme, please, spirit. Give me one for the femme. Strength, femme. Strength comes from many sources. Staying strong brings confidence, conviction, and a balanced body, mind, and soul. Spirit has its own unique and beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength on a continual basis. You're never really alone, femme, as we're always with you. So Spirit wants you to find peace and have strength and just work on you and realize that your masculine's higher self is always with you and so is Spirit. Just like masculine, your feminine is always with you and so is Spirit and your guides and your ancestors. So you both are being told to stay strong and realize you're not alone. Find peace and let go masculine. You'll be happier when you do. Okay, so guys, I hope that this reading helped somebody. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell because I would greatly appreciate it. Um, when you guys don't even watch it or don't like it or, you know, it just makes me feel like, why do I do it, you know, because it takes a lot of time to do. It takes time away from my family. So when you guys like it, I know that, you know, I'm doing something for somebody and it makes it worth it to me, okay? So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your story and you need a private reading, my Etsy store is linked down below. If you want to purchase one of my decks, What's Going Down in Karmic Town or Witchy Sabrina Learning Tarot, also linked down below. If you want to like my Facebook page, please do so. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, all right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. And watch for Zodiac readings, because I'm going to be doing those soon. All right, bye, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. I love you. Bye.